right across the street from the Memorial Library, one of the most visited libraries in the country, right in the middle of West Vancouver on Marine Drive. We're about 50 paces from Marine Drive to where this pond is, which is unbelievable. Not only is it a, a beautiful feature and amenity for a public space in this park, but also it's a working habitat. It's doing the right thing. We show it, we build it, and the fish have done what we would hope. We have two main species in West Vancouver that, that populate. We've got 22 creeks and tributaries in our community, and two of the bigger watersheds have a strong run of gem salmon, but nearly all of them have evidence of coho. So what we need is, is, is rearing habitat for these juvenile fish. Sometimes people call them overwintering ponds, but basically they're in there from the spring until the following spring, and then they'll hit the sea as a smolt for another year and a half at sea before they come back to spawn. In the early days when this pond was still being conceived and planned, New Alta were in here through Pacific Salmon Foundation and Pacific Salmon Foundation's introduction, interested in what was doing, came in with the message that they were going to support it. I work for New Alta and we operate and work in the community and I think it's really important you know, to give back to the community. That's why we try to make a positive difference with the environment and we're a big supporter of the Pacific Salmon Foundation. It's a very good and worthy cause. It's really important you know, to get the kids involved. You know, there's a lot of children out you know, to learn about nature and to help preserve um, the environment. And it's very important for the future generation. When the Salmon Foundation endorses a project and funds it like ours, that gives us tremendous leverage to go into the community and say, look, the science has been done by Salmon Foundation, by fisheries technicians, by community advisors. The project's been endorsed that it's valuable and it will give a return. So Salmon Foundation has always played that role for many, many years, and that gave us leverage to raise $100,000 in cash and another thirty-five dollars to $40,000 of in-kind donations to bring this pond into reality. Now in a park, dedicated to the fallen, we have a pond dedicated to new life.